Peace and blessings, family. Welcome back to Lou Nora Nora. If you're new here, welcome. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about um, just go over briefly five things that you should know before you move out of your parents' house or wherever it is that you currently reside. Um, specifically for those who are teenagers, young adults, anybody really who's trying to move out for the first time. Um, because these are things that I wish I knew. Well, I mean, I don't think there's really any way that you could fully be prepared for any of this stuff until you're in it. But I just thought it'd be nice to share this video with you guys because I know a lot of you, again, are somewhere around my age. And you might be looking to move into your first place soon. And I just thought this would help. So, let's start. Thing number one that I wish I knew is self-discipline. Now, self-discipline is so important because, you know, um, the thing about living alone is that everything is up to you if something is dirty it will never be clean until you clean it you know so having that discipline having that mindset that um i gotta do this this day no matter whether or not i want to or not because if not you know your place is gonna get disgusting or even cooking every day you know even even if you do go out and get food from somewhere um, eating out is very expensive. You're not going to want to do that every single day, especially if you're like immobile like me. Um, cooking is your only option, but, you know, having that discipline to force yourself to learn how to cook, even if you don't know how. I don't really I know, but I don't know everything and I force myself to learn. So self-discipline really comes into play when you are moving um, and living on your own, just doing anything on your own, doing anything independent. The second thing is it's hard, okay? Living on your own is very difficult. Again, you have to do everything yourself. Um, you have to cook. You have to do all the cleaning. You have to do all the entertaining. And um, you have to take care of your... You have to keep in mind your uh, mental health. You have to keep in mind your physical health. Um, which is stuff that people sh should be doing anyways, regardless of whether or not you're trying to move out. But it's, it's just different when you're on your own. Um, for example, I'm in an apartment and I have to go up and down stairs every single day to go get packages and stuff. And um, it's just hard, you know. One thing, I'm actually grateful because it's, it's making me more physically active. I was not physically active when I was back at home because I was just sitting in a chair all day and probably sit on a couch and watch a movie or something. But now that I'm on my own and I got to do all this running around, I got to do it myself and it's, it's low-key building my stamina, which I'm high-key grateful for. But um, it's hard. It's really hard, y'all. Like having to be clean up, having to cook every single day, having to think of a meal, and trying to keep everything organized and clean, and at the same time trying to, you know, make sure you're making money, making sure you're making enough money to cover the bills. It's hard, and it's really mentally straining. And if you do not have a strong will to overcome things, you probably don't want to move out yet, you know, because stuff psh, crazy. Which moves us to our next one which is three, be prepared for the unexpected. Um, now I moved in the first week, I think of January. Yeah, it was the first week of January. Um, had a weekend here going just fine. And then boom, I think that Saturday of the second week, my car completely stopped working. It started making some weird noise. And so I've been out of a car for the last month, literally. And um, luckily I work from home, so I don't really have to go anywhere physically to go work which is a good thing but you know it's kind of driving me crazy a little bit because I'm so used to being able to go um at least go to somewhere every day or just every other day whether that's just Target grocery store I really like driving and just getting away it's like my form of escape because I spend so much time sitting in front of my screens all day and I kind of miss that that's kind of you know driving me a little insane but I'm holding on um but being prepared for not expecting, I wasn't expecting my car to stop. I knew it had issues. I just didn't know that these issues were going to be prominent as soon as they were when I moved out. So I'm literally without a car. Um, luckily me, I have a couple, I have some money saved up and I'm not really in a rush to get a car, but at the same time I am because I need a car, you know, I got to get around. But um, I have a few expenses that I want to take care of before I get that. But I'm saying all to say, be prepared for the unexpected because you never know what's going to happen. Things happen all the time. Life is just full of the unexpected. Literally every single day, every single month, every day, 
month, year, everything is it's, it's just always something different. It's always something new. It's always a new challenge. Um, so you're gonna want to be prepared for that financially. Um, you could use you could lose your job or you can be back paid for something. Anything can happen. You not be able to pay rent. So it's important to have that savings. But just be prepared for the unexpected, cause life's pretty unexpected, you know. Um, which brings me again to the next one, number four. Have at least five to ten thousand dollars saved up before you moved out. I know that seems a lot, and I know a lot of people might not need to do that, like have that much. But I highly recommend you do. I literally spent and blew almost a thousand and five hundred dollars within my first week of being here on furniture, um, you know, stuff kitchenware, bathroom stuff, carpets, everything. I literally spent like $1,500 and I never spent that much money in that short amount of time. But luckily for me, I had savings and it kind of covered all that. And even now I have savings. And also for me, because I don't have any rental history, I had to put down like more money than expected for my security deposit for this apartment. So um, be aware of that, especially if you're a new person, if you're new at moving out and you don't have any rentals history, you might be required to do like a double deposit or just play first and last month's rent, you know? So having said money saved up is very important. Again, also for emergencies, because you never know when you might not be able to pay your rent one month because your job isn't acting up or something with your bank. And um, it's important to have that savings. And number five, have very not very good but just have money managing skills you know when you live on your own um you have to pay a lot of different bills you know you have your phone bill wi-fi we have depending on where you live utilities um i pretty much just pay for my electric bill and my rent and parking but that's about it as far as for like the apartment everything else is like personal like wi-fi phone i don't have to pay insurance anymore because i don't have a car or gas but um you really want to keep in mind with all that stuff for me because i'm an entrepreneur i have a few streams of income so those designated income streams pay for my various bills for example i have a um content creating job and that covers my rent so i never even really have to worry about rent i don't stress over it because i know it's coming from the job and my various other bills come from my various other streams of income so um that's at least my situation. Your situation may be different, but I highly recommend having streams of income so you don't really have to worry about stressing anything out. But money management skills are key. You can't go out. Well, you can, but it's just not financially intelligent to just, you know, spend money recklessly every day. Unless, of course, you can't afford it. One day I will be able to afford it, you know. I'm going to just be able to blow whatever I want to blow when I want to blow it. But right now, I'm in the beginning stages of my business. I'm in the beginning stages of my um, life's career. And I just can't be doing stuff like that yet. You know, that discipline, self-discipline really comes into play. So, um, yeah, money matching skills, knowing how many meals you can afford to eat out. Because eating out is very expensive, especially if you live alone and you're doing it every single day. I don't understand how some people are able to do this every day because it's very expensive. But um, knowing when to eat out, knowing when you can go spend time with people, and how much to spend, like what's your limit, um, knowing how much to spend on clothing, you know, stuff that you like desires over needs, you know. So all of that really comes into play. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Those are the five things that I've noticed so far. Um, I don't know what else. It can be kind of lonely sometimes. Person, me personally, I like being alone. Um, but I also really like being around people after a while, you know, I'm an introvert extrovert like I can be introverted But I also very extroverted So I have my days when I go spend time with my family all day and then I'm like all right ready to go back home And I go spend a week at home and um, especially now that I don't have a car I'm not able to visit people like I used to and um, It's getting a little lonely, you know, I love the silence, but it is a little lonely if you are a loner and you love being alone, this is great. But because I don't have a car, I'm not able to see my people when I want to see them, you know. <sighs> it's getting lonely. But I'm grateful and I'm happy. It's only been a few weeks. Again, first month to be, wow, it'll be next week. Monday, it'll be, I'll be in here for officially for a month. So, yeah, I'm learning every day. I'm learning something new about myself. I'm learning something new about adulthood about life and everything so yeah that's all i have for you guys i want to create this video again because 
I know you guys are probably looking to move out soon because you guys are, you know, tired of your parents or whatever. And I highly recommend if it's not as bad as like something detrimental, like they're just tor your parents are terrible and they're like ruining your mental health or something. I recommend you stay home as long as possible. Um, Cause it's expensive. It's very expensive and it's very time consuming. It's very difficult to live on your own, but it's fun. It's part of adulthood. I have been yearning for this and I'm, ex I'm I'm just grateful for every single day that I get to experience this life because I dreamed of this and it's still crazy that I'm here and um, yeah that's all um, thank you guys for watching this video uh, may God continue to bless you don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned for more and um, yeah peace